Aluminum oxide. Aluminum oxide. Yes, yes. Aluminum oxide in nitric acid. I just added some water when I noticed it had dissolved to form this red solution. On the shelf I have some molybdenum oxide dissolved in water. And I'm going to add some sulfuric acid. Just added some zinc. And that has made this blue color which I think is molybdenum blue and also a bit spilt here so that's a nice color There's a tiny bit of molybdenum left. And here's our molybdenum trioxide solution with a bit of nitric acid. I've split this into two, 40 mils in the bottle and 40 mils in the beaker. I'm going to add some sodium borohydride to the beaker in order to hopefully get molybdenum powder. Here's our borohydride. I'm going to take some, uh, only a tiny bit, and see what happens. Well, look at that. Well, look at that. Metal powder. Incredible. Oh, is it blue or is it black? I'm seeing blue. Maybe that's molybdenum or it's just a lower oxidation state. Continue adding a bit more. The gas being evolved, I continue to add. Certainly got a fine precipitate. Changed from that blue sort of color to this brown. Further addition is more gentle. So I'll wait for this bubbling to stop. So I had it like this, it won't react as quickly. But it's still reacting. That means most of the metal is already precipitated.
right there? Just not a very Just good not setup. a very good setup. Setup. Top. Gravity filtration on top of a vacuum filtration, which isn't doing anything much. Apparently, if I evaporate molybdenum trioxide in the presence of molybdenum powder, I should get something called molybdenum blue which is a blue oxide of molybdenum. It might not be the metal, it might be a molybdenum-3 compound. I'm drying it in my dehydrator. There's also some in here, which also looks good. What I want to do with this is evaporate it down add some water, evaporate it down again because I need to remove the nitric acid which is still present in this. Pour this in here. And turn the heat on. This could take some time for that to evaporate and for that to dry. This looks quite dry now. It's a very nice dark powder. Here, yeah, this is slowly evaporating. We're going to weigh the molybdenum. I first tear this bottle. With the powder inside, it's very close to one gram. After almost dropping it all, we have 0 0.84. That's interesting. We didn't have this precipitate before. I think there's also been a color change. It was more red before, and more transparent. Who knew molybdenum chemistry was so interesting? We should call this channel Molybdenum Interesting. I'm going to place a stir bar in here. Gently. This has been quite unexpected. It was spitting everywhere, so I've taken it off the heat. And you can see it's a pasty kind of oxide. We're still quite acidic. I've added some more water. We're going to evaporate it again. It seems this stuff is very insoluble. Here, I've got a tiny bit of the metal powder. If I add some of this, just a tiny bit, and let it evaporate in the presence of the metal, we'll see what happens. A bit more metal, just for good measure. Put some of this in here with it. Almost seems like there's a color change already. 
I'm seeing blue. We're seeing blue. That's very interesting. Indeed. It's the metal at the bottom. In contact with the trioxide. Which is plus six. Molybdenum blue. Blue oxide of molybdenum. That is grey. A hint of blue. We've gone from this kind of colour to adding this stuff. And we get more of a sort of cream colour. What I'm going to do is put this in the dehydrator. We'll turn this on to full. 70 degrees. This bubble down again. We'll try to obtain a solid. That's interesting. Adding hydrochloric acid and zinc and stirring with a metal spatula created this blue-green compound. You can see contact with the metal spatula after touching HCl 
Cosas. Dentro de... You can see how it forms this blue complex. There's an untouched piece. The color has disappeared and this has evaporated. My light is dying. My light is dying. Thank you for watching.